Hello, Nigerians. I want everybody to know that my life is under serious threat. Yes, my life is under serious threat by those who think that they own Nigeria. Few uh, weeks ago, I spoke about the economic and uh, security state of Nigeria. And ever since, I have been receiving a series of a uh, series of text messages threatening my life, asking me to run away from Nigeria or else I will be dead. And let me respond to all the people who are trying to intimidate or threaten me with death. You do not have power to take away my life except Allah has given you the permission to do that. And I am not afraid of dying. If you will speak the truth, you will die. If you will do not speak the truth, you will also die. Therefore, don't even bother about threatening me and my family because I spoke the truth from my heart. Because of conscience. And I'm saying shame on every Nigeria who is celebrating the insecurity and the economic state of Nigeria. Shame on all the people who are silent about the killing, who are silent about the kidnapping and the terrorism going on in Nigeria. Shame on all the people in power who are silent. Your silence is no longer golden. Shame on all traditional rulers and all your institutions who are seeing the life of Nigerians destroyed and people are being massacred and the uh, Nigerian road is no longer safe for travelers. And you are silent because it has not touched you nor your family and that is why you are silent. Shame on all religious leaders in Nigeria who are seeing everything that, that is going on in Nigeria and you are less concerned. You are not concerned because it has never affected you. I am using this medium to call on all elites in Nigeria. I am calling on all patriotic Nigeria to rise up and begin to do something. Rise up and begin to talk. My father was a military soldier and the Nigerian army. This is not the Nigeria he put to keep together. This is not the Nigeria he put to unite. And what is happening in Nigeria makes my heart to bleed. And I realize that Kidnapping business, terrorism has become a multi-billion dollar business and they have their sponsors. And a lot of people are benefiting from it. They will create the problem and come out to become the mediator. They will create the problem and come out to pretend as if they don't know what is happening. Some of the governors are aware. Some of the leadership are aware. Of the people who are masterminding this terrorism, this banditry, and this kidnapping in Nigeria. But let me tell you, the blood of all innocent Nigerians that I killed will haunt you to your grave. You cannot intimidate me to stop because if you kill me, more than 1,000 people like me will arise. You cannot kill the truth no matter how much you try. If you kill the truth, it will resurrect again. I speak to your heart, I speak to your conscience because of your children. Stand up and do what is right. If you want to legalize the carrying of arms, legalize it, let all Nigerians carry one, and then many will begin to kill each other. That may be the time you will wake up to do what is right. Mr. President and all this is in, is in power. This silence is no longer golden. A lot of things are happening a lot of things are happening. A lot of blood are being shed. You know, some people are dying every day. Nobody is more Nigerian than the rest of us. Let me also end on this note. Nobody has monopoly of violence. No tribe has monopoly of government or of violence. The people who are doing this, who are told they are, they are foreigners. Because the real Fulani has men I know are peace loving people. They are everywhere taking care of their cows. But what we are saying in Nigeria is a different Polani Hesma. And we wonder where they are from. Our security agents will be able to tell us where these people are coming from and why the silent. I will continue to talk. If I die, I die. But if I live, I will continue to say the truth from my conscience.